Hello and welcome into the United States of Americano, the home where you hear interviews from Outreach Radio Chicago and all the other interesting guests we have here on the Mercado Airwaves Network. We promise you interesting conversations, unbiased opinions, and a home for good civil conversation. We will cover subjects that impact your daily life and all different type of topics that can help you in your life. You can follow us all over social media. I'm on Twitter at mmercado2333. Also on Instagram at mikemercado2333. If you want to see what we're up to behind the scenes or outside of Outreach Radio Chicago, like us on Facebook at Mercado Airwaves. You can subscribe to us on YouTube, youtube.com slash mikemercado2333, or by searching Mercado Airwaves. Network. Download us anywhere you get your favorite podcasts at Mercado Airwaves. And while you're at it, please like, rate, review, and share us. It means the world to us. You can get all our interviews ad-free and before anybody else with athletes and celebrities by visiting patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves. We are also streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Mercado Airwaves Network. Before we get to today's guest, here's a quick message. What's up, friends? Mike here from Mercado Airwaves. If you missed any one of our past interviews with amazing guests like future Hall of Famer and pound for pound best fighter in the world, UFC flightweight champion Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. Another day the, the operator to go out there and uh, test my skill. To award-winning producer, director, and actor Orlando Jones. Orlando, how you doing, buddy? You, I'm good, brother. How you doing? And all the other interesting guests we've had on. Joining us today is director and writer David Ferrier. Thanks so much, brother. I appreciate you having me on the show. MMA legend Chael Sonnen joins us today. Keep listening to your show. This is great. Thanks, my friend. Just subscribe to us on iTunes at Mercado Airwaves. And while you're there, please like, review, and rate us, friends. It helps so much. We also have a Patreon for anyone who would like to support the show. Just visit us at patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves and see how you can get all of our interviews ad-free and before anyone else and how you can get your business or company spotlighted on the show. Follow us on Twitter at mmercado2333. Like us on Facebook at Mercado Airwaves. Subscribe to us on YouTube, youtube.com slash mikemercado2333. And if you would like to see what we're up to behind the scenes, follow us on Instagram, mikemercado2333. Thanks for listening and all the support. If you would like to support Mercado Airwaves, visit us at patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves. Find us on iTunes at Mercado Airwaves. Keep up to date with the show on Facebook at Mercado Airwaves. You can see all of Nicole's work at typingwintipsy.wordpress.com. You can follow Alex on Twitter at Mercado21Alex. Follow Mike on Twitter at mmercado2333 and on Instagram, mikemercado2333. Thanks for keeping with us. Here's our interview with Mark Barlet. Enjoy. Thank you so much, Mark, for joining us today. Uh, it's a really big pleasure to to have people from such a great organization that uh, that we actually take a lot of pride in in the community. One of the communities that we're invested in in the gaming community. Um, we're here with Mark Bartlett. He is the uh, founder of Able Gamers. And Mark, thank you so much for taking some time for us. I know you're super busy. Even at the end of this week, it seems like the work is never done. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing well. You're right. It is. Uh the end of the week and i am looking at the clock hoping it will go faster thus far it is not complied <laughs> it's always the case my friend but i'm glad that you are able to take some time for us and not just that you're able to really invest in what is such a great cause um for anybody here in chicago who's not sure exactly what what do you guys do can you give uh, the great audience over here in outreach radio chicago a little bit about uh, able gamers and a little bit about yourself <laughs> Yeah, so again, my name is Mark Barley, and I'm the founder of, of Able Gamers. I founded Able Gamers when disability struck my, my friends, and uh, I watched the disability try to take away their ability to game, and we, we really, you know, I decided that that was a calling and that it needed to be, needed to be fixed. You know, I really, I love reading our mission statement because I think our mission statement says so much about who we are as an organization. And our mission is to create opportunities that enable play in order to combat social isolation, foster inclusive communities, and improve the quality of life for people with disabilities. And that means so much to me because, you know, we, are, we, we as human beings, play is how we interact with our world. It's how we as kids, you know, learn to share. And even as adults, you know, it's how we, you know, hone our skills in conflict mitigation and things like that. But also they're fun, you know, video games let you build communities. I oftentimes will choose a game to play, not based on the game, but based on the friends of mine who are playing it. Right. So, you know, if the people that I want to play with are playing Overwatch, 
Overwatch isn't my favorite game. It's a great game, but it's not my favorite game. But I'm going to play Overwatch because I want to be with my friends. What's up, friends? Mike here from Mercado Airwaves. If you missed any one of our past interviews with amazing guests like future Hall of Famer and pound for pound best fighter in the world, UFC flightweight champion Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. It's another day that the operator is out there and uh, has my skill. To award-winning producer, director, and actor Orlando Jones. Orlando, how you doing, buddy? Hey, I'm good, brother. How you doing? And all the other interesting guests we've had on. Joining us today is director and writer David Ferrier. Thanks so much, brother. I appreciate you having me on the show. MMA legend Chael Sonnen joins us today. Keep listening to your show. This is great. Thanks, my friend. Just subscribe to us on iTunes at Mercado Airwaves. And while you're there, please like, review, and rate us, friends. It helps so much. We also have a Patreon for anyone who would like to support the show. Just visit us at patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves and see how you can get all of our interviews ad-free and before anyone else and how you can get your business or company spotlighted on the show. Follow us on Twitter at mmercado2333. Like us on Facebook at Mercado Airwaves. Subscribe to us on YouTube, youtube.com slash mikemercado2333. And if you would like to see what we're up to behind the scenes, follow us on Instagram, mikemercado2333. Thanks for listening and all the support. And that's so interesting about this community with the gaming community is that, you know, for the longest time, there was this weird stigma. And I guess, you know, it had to do with uh, people not really knowing and, and a generational gap between between parents and, and children. But the longest time, it was considered an isolation thing that you were hiding in a dark room and, you know, you were plotting to hurt people and you were living out these crazy fantasies. But really, it was just the same thing they were doing, reading Superman comics or watching, you know, um, the He-Man and all these different things. It was just a different medium. And what I find amazing is, you know, all you think about is, well, me and my three brothers, just kids playing. But you never think about the the child who can't pick up the control the right way. Like you said, your friend who was a gamer who who lived this life and it was taken from her. It's Do you think, I, me personally, growing up in the 90s and the early 2000s, I think what's really helped this this cause of being of able gamers and and being able to make sure everybody's involved has been streaming. And you mentioned Overwatch. Have you noticed that in, in, in the last few years, the Twitch era, the YouTube era, where everybody has uh, accessibility to it, to watch it and really get people wanting to be part of this community? Well, I think there's been a big push within the gaming community to kind of um, leave that stigma that you talked about behind. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there was the stigma, and, and you know, I'm old. I'm I've been playing since you know I've been playing since you know my an Atari 2600, um, and you know, gaming back then was for the most part uh, a, a, what I would like to call a locally shared experience. You know, if the person was in the room, you were sharing the experience. Duck Hunt, Duck Hunt did in fact have two two player mode. Right. But now that we're in the internet age, gaming, you know. Gaming allows you to be just about anywhere. But, you know, to your point, you, know, you talk about, you know, I've had parents and parents of, of, of children with disabilities are going like, well, but I want my, my, my kid to be able to do everything that regular kids do. I want them to be able to, like, go kayaking and climb a tree. And I've had to look at those parents and go, what do you think other regular kids are doing right now? I don't see the rivers near my house chucked full of kayaks full of children. <laughs> I see you know, whole servers and overwatch and things like that. And, right. you know, I think it's really one of the other big changes is that gamers are having kids now. Oh. You know, the average age of average age of a gamer is 36 years old. So in order to be or 34 years old, in order to be 34, you know, you're now talking, there are more gamers over 50 than there are under the age of 18. That's a real statistic. Wow. Um, so I think, you know, back in the day, it was, oh, you're wasting time. you got to look at the generation that was telling it. In my 40s, I could easily have a 20-year-old kid, right. and I'm a gamer. I was never discouraged to, to game. That's so interesting that you bring up that age, that age gap of, you know, who, of course, who's buying the video game system? Who's able to afford these, these this software and, and this hardware to... You know, on top of the TV and on top of the controls and every accessory that comes with it, it's fascinating you bringing up that idea of that generation who grew up on, you know, the the Nintendo, the Jaguar, the Sega, everything like, are becoming the parents now. And with that in mind, and then the way society works now, where everybody's wants everybody to be included, but not just that, it's 
and and I'm going to be cynical, but it's marketable. So a long, you know, a long time ago, able gamers may have never been able to get the the footing or the backing because some people didn't see the investment in it. Luckily, in 2018, it's yeah, it's 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 as simple as like, well, yeah, everybody should be included. Do you think that getting so much? So many people behind you, like Rockstar, and a lot of these different, you know, th this brand new awesome Xbox controller that came out in May. You know, it, do you think having these, having the names in the industry backing this community out, how, how much of a difference has that been in the last few years, in your opinion? Well, I think, so, there's a couple of things that have gone on. Able Gamers has always been really keen on presenting people the players with disabilities as a market. You know, I've always said, I can, tell, I can tell you one sad story and get you to make one change in one game one time. But if I tell you the fact that people with disabilities have a trillion dollars in expendable income in the United States, and they spend that money on goods and services that support the needs that they have, which argument do you think is more compelling? Right. Mm -hmm. The sad story, which will get one change, or talking about a market and making systemic changes because gaming is a competitive space. Indie developers are putting out new games all the time. The big boys are now competing in a way that they've never had to compete before. Why would you do anything to leave money on the table? And I think that that positioning that we took as an organization went really far on getting us allies within the gaming community because they knew we were coming to them and and saying, these are the features you need to add. These are the things you need to do. But we were doing it because we wanted to help them make more money and at the same time, empower a community to enjoy this great content. What's up, friends? Mike here from Mercado Airwaves. If you missed any one of our past interviews with amazing guests like future Hall of Famer and pound for pound best fighter in the world, UFC flightweight champion Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. It's another day that the operator is out there and uh, that's my skill. To award winning producer, director, and actor Orlando Jones. Orlando, how you doing, buddy? Hey, sir. I'm good, brother. How you doing? And all the other interesting guests we've had on. Joining us today is director and writer David Ferrier. Thanks so much, brother. I appreciate you having me on the show. MMA legend Chael Sonnen joins us today. Keep listening to your show. This is great. Thanks, my friend. Just subscribe to us on iTunes at Mercado Airwaves. And while you're there, please like, review, and rate us, friends. It helps so much. We also have a Patreon for anyone who would like to support the show. Just visit us at patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves and see how you can get all of our interviews ad-free and before anyone else and how you can get your business or company spotlighted on the show. Follow us on Twitter at mmercado2333. Like us on Facebook at Mercado Airwaves. Subscribe to us on YouTube, youtube.com slash mikemercado2333. And if you would like to see what we're up to behind the scenes, follow us on Instagram, mikemercado2333. Thanks for listening and all the support. If anybody wants more information, please go to ablegamers.org or follow them on Twitter at ablegamers. They have some really cool stuff, really interesting people who are constantly always you know, communicating with the community and kind of showing what, what current project everybody's working on. And I think that's what's great, too, is to see how involved you guys are with everybody. And, and I wanted to hit this. I think people never realized, like you just said, the accessible income of the disability community. But it's amazing to me because I don't think people ever realize, like, well, yeah, of course a person with MS would want to play. Why wouldn't they? Why are they any different than anybody else? Did you ever feel like the common community, like the common, you know, the people outside of this era really put that together that, you know, everybody's the same. People love the original Halo. People love playing, you know, Super Smash Brothers. Everybody wants to be involved. Every Why wouldn't you want to play as Mario or Zelda? Did you ever, did it, was it weird at one point kind of seeing, for lack of a better word, the ignorance of, of us common, you know, dum-dums? No, I don't. It, it was never... <sighs> It's it's hard for me to kind of explain it, but I don't I don't fault anyone for not thinking about these things. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we are we are we are humans, and we look at our we look at our experiences, and we shape we shape the things that we have control over based on our own realities. And this kind of goes back to the movement we're seeing across technology as a whole, where we're working to get more um, women 
in the technology industry. We're working right. to get more people of color in the technology industry. We're working to make a more diverse space. Well, we're working to get more people with disabilities into these communities because they're going to be the biggest advocates for it. I think that what you're seeing is you're seeing the fruits of this broader movement of making sure that we have these rich, diverse, creative, creative spaces because the truth is everyone brings their world experience to the project. Mm. And so that's what I think we're seeing. How exciting is it when you guys get to the office and start getting ready for the next few projects? How exciting and, you know, that, that creativity baby starts being made. Like, what, can you explain that energy and, and that, that excitement, that, that love and passion that goes into the next venture whenever you guys are kind of in that lane? Well, you know, I'm actually the wrong person to ask that question because as the founder, I actually spend a lot of my time kind of, empowering my team mm. and you know i was really fortunate to be able to go down to our project at the children's hospital in new orleans it was one of the first times i had an opportunity to go on the ground in, in a couple of years mm. and you know i was so like i know we were doing all these great things like you know but for even for me i founded this organization and i was just like like at the end of the day i was just emotionally exhausted because i saw all these young people who some had never played since their accident came into a room and within 10 minutes we were playing rocket league and they, you know, their parents are in tears and I'm trying to hold it together for this young person. And, you know, and then, you know, I went, we went to the hotel room and my team, Greg, Craig and I, we, we just, we couldn't even go out for dinner. We just had the dinner delivered to the room because we needed to talk it out. We needed to be like, you know, it was Greg's first time. He had just joined the organization back in April. Craig had done it before, but we were just so overwhelmed emotionally at this amazing transformation that we were seeing in these children. That's, uh, yeah, I can only imagine that that feeling of, you know, that, that reality setting in. Of It almost brings everything back to home and, and really puts things into perspective. And I think it's wonderful as a leader that you that you say that and you put the, the praise onto your team and let's let's focus a little bit on them. Can you can you describe what it takes for a person to do things something like that where, you know, as a human, you know, it it wears on the soul when you see people I don't want to use the word suffering, but again it goes back to the dumb dumb where you see people, you realize that life can be easier for them. It should be easier for them and, and it's not and it wears on you and you and you try not to bring it home, but you also try to bring that perspective with you can you describe the kind of person it takes the how proud and the pride that it brings to you as a leader when when you have these type of team members that take this on take this head on so we have to be real careful with team members to make sure that they're taking the, the time off that they need and the mm. vacations that they need um because this is i mean one of the things that's rarely talked about is we've also lost a lot of friends that we've made in the organization i mean we are a disability organization and some of the people that we help are profoundly disabled and some of these illnesses are terminal. Right. So, you know, we have to be really, we're very, what I love about my team is we're really good at checking in with each other. You know, hey, how are you feeling right now? Oh, what's going on? How did, how did that affect you? Where are you at? What, what's your state? Because it's highs and lows. You know, this, it, it, the other interesting thing is, is you, you learn really quickly that, you know, you don't start a charity unless you're a caring individual, but I had to personally kind of go, this is the mission I'm going to care about, and I'm going to have to try to find other people to care about the other things I care about because I don't have the emotional capacity to care about it all, hmm. if that makes sense. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's and it's it's crazy. It's almost just the, the weirdness of the universe of being able to find these people that – actually can do it and be able to spread this message and be able to spread this work and then of course the strength that it takes the people that you guys are helping i mean sometimes like you said it what gets lost is when you lose some of these some of these awesome members and some of these people that you guys have helped but you know on their end too they they're so much stronger than us you know when when the family members or you know when you have people who are terminally ill 
they, they seem to bring the energy in the room. They seem to be the one that keeps people motivated and upbeat when they're the one facing the darkness and they're the one facing this, this hardship. And, you know, how has that been kind of seeing their strength and, and how does that impact you guys in the team? Well, when you see a parent who's literally crying because they're seeing their kid enjoying something, mm. I think that, you know, I am not a parent of a child with disabilities, um, but, you know, I know so many parents that are, and, you know, it's rough, it's tough sometimes, but when I see the tears, it tells me like, you know, they, 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 they're, they're, they love their children and they want the best for their children. And we're trying to provide a, an avenue for the, for the kid to just have fun for, you know, for, for a player with disabilities to just forget about the to do exactly what the rest of us do in video games all the time. Look, I don't jump into a video game because I want to work on an Excel spreadsheet. I jump into a video game because I want to ignore an Excel spreadsheet. What's up, friends? Mike here from Mercado Airwaves. If you missed any one of our past interviews with amazing guests like future Hall of Famer and pound for pound best fighter in the world, UFC flightweight champion Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. It's another day that the operator, the weapon, uh, has my skill. To award-winning producer, director, and actor Orlando Jones. Orlando, how you doing, buddy? Hey, sir. I'm good, brother. How you doing? And all the other interesting guests we've had on. Joining us today is director and writer David Ferrier. Thanks so much, brother. I appreciate you having me on the show. MMA legend Chael Sonnen joins us today. Keep listening to your show. This is great. Thanks, my friend. Just subscribe to us on iTunes at Mercado Airwaves. And while you're there, please like, review, and rate us, friends. It helps so much. We also have a Patreon for anyone who would like to support the show. Just visit us at patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves and see how you can get all of our interviews ad-free and before anyone else and how you can get your business or company spotlighted on the show. Follow us on Twitter at mmercado2333. Like us on Facebook at Mercado Airwaves. Subscribe to us on YouTube, youtube.com slash mikemercado2333. And if you would like to see what we're up to behind the scenes, follow us on Instagram, mikemercado2333. Thanks for listening and all the support. Right. You know, it's it's fascinating too, Mark, because I think you've seen you've you've been part of every every major era of video game in its popularity. You know, from the mid '90s to this point. You know, and you personally, as a gamer, as the founder, and seen just in general, did you ever think it would get this big? Both the community trying to help out our disabled gamers, our, our brethren, and then. You know, shooters are in, and 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 and, e, and and these uh, fighting games are on ESPN. I mean, esport is a thing. Like, did you ever think colleges are giving out scholarships? And maybe at one point you will have, you know, disability children with, you know, everybody else getting these scholarships because they're just badass players at at Overwatch Four when, at that point, whatever the case may be. Like, did you ever think we would get at this level? From an accessibility standpoint, I've. You know, this is the, the we're we're on the trajectory of the world that I dreamed at. Mm. On the on the esports side, I'll be kind of honest with you. I feel like an old man <laughs> when it comes to esports because I'm like, wait, you can play this professionally now. Get off my lawn, <laughs> <laughs> you know? Because you know, I'm in my mid 40s, and I mean, it's just it shows the evolution of gaming that. And but I also think it goes back to that point, which is, you know, parents, gaming parents are raising gaming kids, so, you know, that's a much more acceptable, you know, pastime than it was before. I, I really think that you know esports could not have been born if it weren't for gamers raising gamers. Oh, Mark, uh, we could do this all day, but I know you want to get the rest of this crazy week over with and get your weekend started, which I'm sure just involves more work because you're a man that stays busy as long yeah, with it, able gamers. It means that I don't do one job and I do just I, I don't do two jobs. I just do one job. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, we, we really appreciate you making some time for us. Uh, you know, we we here in Chicago are so proud of what you guys are doing. It, um you know, does the heart. Well, it's good to see that this market is getting taken care of and at the very least has good people behind it. And we just want to let you guys know that you always have a home here in Chicago whenever you guys are doing anything, you know, to, that you want to promote and sponsor. You got a home here and we'll make sure that the gamers here in, in the Windy City uh, have your back. Mark, is there anything you guys want to uh, to say to the fine people? 
Chicago is one of my favorite cities. I actually physically crashed into Oprah Winfrey there. Oh. Um, Okay. Yeah, I was walking through. I was walking through a hotel lobby, and I was looking at my phone, and I literally walked right into Oprah Winfrey, oh. um, who was having dinner at the restaurant in the hotel. Um, but you know, I appreciate anyone who wants to learn more about Able Gamers. Please visit our website, which is ablegamers.org. Um, you can find us on Twitter at able at Able Gamers. Find us on Facebook at Able Gamers. We keep it really simple. Yeah, hey, um, for dum dums like and, me, I get you it. You know, and you know, we we appreciate the support and, and sharing our story. Thank you very much, Mark. You're the best. Um, you're uh, Oprah certified, which means you are officially Chicago, Chicago's own. You know, with asterisks on there because you're worlds. <laughs> you're you're the worlds. But uh, Mark, thank you so much, buddy. Um, I cannot wait to see what other awesome stuff you guys got down the road and uh, keep kicking butt, buddy. Thank you very much. What's up, friends? Mike here from Mercado Airwaves. If you missed any one of our past interviews with amazing guests like future Hall of Famer and pound for pound best fighter in the world, UFC flightweight champion Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson, Shanara David, the operator, the weapon, uh, excellent skill. To award-winning producer, director, and actor Orlando Jones. Orlando, how you doing, buddy? Hey, sir. I'm good, brother. How you doing? And all the other interesting guests we've had on. Joining us today is director and writer David Ferrier. Thanks so much, brother. I appreciate you having me on the show. MMA legend Chael Sonnen joins us today. Keep listening to your show. This is great. Thanks, my friend. Just subscribe to us on iTunes at Mercado Airwaves. And while you're there, please like, review, and rate us, friends. It helps so much. We also have a Patreon for anyone who would like to support the show. Just visit us at patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves and see how you can get all of our interviews ad-free and before anyone else and how you can get your business or company spotlighted on the show. Follow us on Twitter at mmercado2333. Like us on Facebook at Mercado Airwaves. Subscribe to us on YouTube, youtube.com slash mikemercado2333. And if you would like to see what we're up to behind the scenes, follow us on Instagram, mikemercado2333. Thanks for listening and all the support. A huge thank you to Mark and all those at Able Gamers. If you would like more information, please go to their website at ablegamers.org and follow them all over social media at ablegamers. What's up, friends? Mike here from Mercado Airwaves. If you missed any one of our past interviews with amazing guests like future Hall of Famer and pound for pound best fighter in the world, UFC flightweight champion Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson, Shanara David, the operator, the weapon, uh, excellent skill. To award-winning producer, director, and actor Orlando Jones. Orlando, how you doing, buddy? Hey, I'm good, brother. How you doing? And all the other interesting guests we've had on. Joining us today is director and writer David Ferrier. Thanks so much, brother. I appreciate you having me on the show. MMA legend Chael Sonnen joins us today. Keep listening to your show. This is great. Thanks, my friend. Just subscribe to us on iTunes at Mercado Airwaves. And while you're there, please like, review, and rate us, friends. It helps so much. We also have a Patreon for anyone who would like to support the show. Just visit us at patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves and see how you can get all of our interviews ad-free and before anyone else and how you can get your business or company spotlighted on the show. Follow us on Twitter at mmercado2333. Like us on Facebook at Mercado Airwaves. Subscribe to us on YouTube, youtube.com slash mikemercado2333. And if you would like to see what we're up to behind the scenes, follow us on Instagram, mikemercado2333. Thanks for listening and all the support. If you would like to support Mercado Airwaves, visit us at patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves. Find us on iTunes at Mercado Airwaves. Keep up to date with the show on Facebook at Mercado Airwaves. You can see all of Nicole's work at typingwintipsy.wordpress.com. You can follow Alex on Twitter at Mercado21Alex. Follow Mike on Twitter at mmercado2333 and on Instagram, MikeMercado2333.